man of God on today. He's able to complete every word that has proceeded out of the mouth of the man of God on today. And amen. If you're here today and you're not saved, and you don't know the Lord, amen, and the parting of your sins that you have not given your life to Jesus Christ, all that was heard, all that Thank was God. heard, amen. I can preach that. It's not for you until you first do your first work. First word, first is to give your heart and your life to Jesus Christ. And that's what's the most important thing is at this point is that you do not even have to accept the Lord as your personal Savior. If you're here this morning, if you're not saved, you're not saved. It's not a matter of whether you go to church or not. The question if you have to question whether or not you are saved, that's what's important for you to make sure that you get it right. And I would not want you to leave the house of the Lord confused, not knowing that if something was to happen to you before you got back to your destination, that amen, I, will you not lift your eyes up and be see the Lord? Amen. If you're not sure, if you were to die today, where will you spend eternity? That is the question. Where would you spend eternity? Amen. If you have not been forgiven, if you have not repented of your sins, would you just stand? Say, Pastor Smith, I need to get my life together. It doesn't matter when, amen, we all had to come to this point. We all had to come to the place of realization that, amen, that we needed the Lord. How many remember when you said, Lord, I need you? And amen, I need you right now. Amen, because I'm in trouble. I, my life is a mess. 